So we saw the, the expressions for, for resistance that was this and the expression for conductance reciprocal of this. So this became the reciprocal of this. So that is kappa into A upon L. This became, this is my resistance. This is my conductance. This is resistivity and the reciprocal of that, this is conductivity. Okay? Fine? Now, now, <coughs> If we, if we look at the conductivity of the material, conductivity of a material, of, of a, of conductivity, conductivity of, of an object, okay? The first thing that it depends on is the material of which it is made. It depends on the material. Okay, That is the first thing. It also depends on the temperature and pressure at which the conductivity is being measured. Temperature and pressure of measurement. the time of measurement. Okay? Now, based on the conductivity of the materials, okay, based on the conductivity, the materials can be, can be, the, based on, Conductivity The materials can be classified as they can be classified as okay. So I'll say the materials can be classified as as a conductor a conductor An insulator and a semiconductor. Okay. Now, now, what is the distinction between them? Okay. <clears throat> so. Number one is a conductor is characterized by a very high conductivity. Okay. A, a, an insulator is characterized by a very low conductivity while a semiconductor has the conductivity intermediate between intermediate 
between the conductor and insulator okay <coughs> okay so th this we already know conductors they can be they are normally metals so so normally metal but graphite which is a a non metal also conducts okay <coughs> graphite also conducts it is it is because one of the carbon atoms it is bonded to three other carbon atoms so that one electron is free and it arranges itself in a sheet form with one loose electron that very loosely bonds the other sheet and is free to move through the matrix of the solid okay semiconductors are are silicon germanium okay and these are normally non metal okay they are normally non metals fine for example the the conductivity of sodium is is 2.1 into 10 to the power 3 siemens per meter okay fine Okay, here <clears throat> the silicon and germanium, when they are used as semiconductors, they are actually the doped semiconductors. Doped semiconductors. What do we mean by doping? Doping is mixing something else into the pure silicon or germanium. Okay, so mixing. something else with silicon germanium boron or phosphorus we have done in detail how boron or phosphorus when added to a to a silicon or a germanium matrix leads to here the p type semiconductor and this leads to an n type semiconductor fine okay <clears throat>